Thank you to Thrive Market for working with me on today's video, but more on that later. But when we do not have groceries in our house, I swear everything in our house just like goes downhill. Figure out all of the details for Echo's birthday party. When I have not rotated my toys in a while, my kids don't really even come in here like at all. When I don't have clean clothes for myself and for my kids, I feel like that really starts my day off on a very stressful note. If you've noticed that I've actually done zero cleaning today, that was intentional. Another thing that I want to declutter is my makeup bag, the under the niche cabinet like situation. I did not clean every space in my house. I did not do all of my laundry, but this really felt like a good start to truly getting my life together. I gotta preface, yes. I got a spray tan. I was in my sister-in-law's wedding and it's looking a little orange in this camera, so just like ignore that, okay? But we are coming off of a wedding weekend where I was in the bridal party, my husband was in the bridal party, my husband officiated the wedding, our kids were in the wedding. Like it was a very long couple of days. It was so fun, it turned out so good, but my life feels so chaotic. There were so many appointments and things going on leading up to the wedding. And then on top of that, Rocky was on spring break, so it kind of just like threw off our schedule and I really felt like I couldn't like work on anything. And tending to my house and my own to-do list was at the least of my priority list. Side note, I have shared a like stay-at-home mom cleaning schedule on YouTube Shorts and Instagram. I will leave a link to it down below, but when I I stick to this schedule it helps my life tremendously but I absolutely did not do a single thing of it last week and so that on top of like Echo's birthday party coming up and me doing no preparation for that and so many other things has really making me feel like I need to get my life together and so I literally need to do all of the things I need to go grocery shopping I need to tackle the huge pile of laundry that I have I need to clean my house. I need to plan for Echo's birthday party. I need to do some decluttering. I need to rotate the toys. Like the list just keeps going on and on. I also feel like I need to spring clean my mind. I just feel like nothing is like organized, planned, or really prepared in any category in my life. And so I'm really using this video as an excuse to get my life completely in order. It is honestly so motivating to share it with you guys. I feel like I get so much more done when I like vlog the process. So whether you need to do the exact same thing and get your life in order, you need to do some spring cleaning, or you just wanna watch my life that feels very chaotic, kind of unravel and get a little bit more organized, I am so excited to take you guys along with me. If you guys were curious, where my kids were while I was filming that. <laughs> Aren't they so dang cute? I gotta go get groceries, okay? I stopped to get the kids Chick-fil-A on the way to go get our groceries from Fry's Pickup, but when we do not have groceries in our house, I swear everything in our house just like goes downhill. We don't have food to make like good meals from home, so we eat worse, we eat out a lot more, we don't feel good, and it's just this like rabbit hole that I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And so we need to go pick up groceries. I know did actually go to Costco on Sunday. That is where we get like all of our bulk items, but they don't have like all of those in between items or ingredients that you need like in order to make like a recipe or like an actual meal. And so we definitely cannot skip out on our like regular grocery store. I placed an online order last night so that I could just put my kids in the car and drive on up. So let's go grab our groceries. <laughs> I understand. Put it on the camera. I also placed my first ever Thrive Market order, and I'm so excited to share with you guys because I am absolutely obsessed with trying to find healthy alternatives for snacks and food items for my kids. But I'm not usually obsessed with the price that I have to pay for that, and that is why I'm so thankful that I found Thrive Market. Thrive Market is a online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable to everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. My favorite part is that it is so convenient and I love that I can shop the greatest prices from the comfort of my own home. There's absolutely nothing worse than having to go to multiple different grocery stores in order to get all of the things that you want and Thrive Market is definitely saving me a few trips. I'm also obsessed with the fact that Thrive Market does all of the heavy lifting with over 800 ingredients banned from snacks, beverages, and more. As a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. I personally saved $31.01 on everything that I ordered, and I wanted to give you guys just a quick 
little haul of the things that I picked up. I'm super excited about this cereal. Each serving has eight grams of protein and only three grams of sugar. I've heard so many good things about this brand of popcorn, but we don't have it anywhere near, so I was so excited to try that out. These are my favorite puffs for my kids. They have so many good hidden veggies that the brand is Serenity Kids. I'm obsessed with Go Macro Bars, and I know my kids are gonna love these too. And then we got some fun treats as well. I got this mainly for the no added sugar. It is getting so hot in Arizona already, so I'm excited to have those. And then I got a few like candy items. Um, these are from Yum Earth, just some suckers and then some Skittles that are dye free. The last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the coolest part. If you find a lower price on any of their products, they will price match it for you. And if you don't make back your $60 annual membership savings, they will credit you the difference. All orders over $49 ship free. And if you guys wanna check out Thrive Market, you can click the link in my description box or you can head to thrivemarket.com backslash Kyleen Rodriguez to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. I'll have all of this information down in my description box, but I just wanted to say a big thank you to Thrive for working with me on today's video. The next thing that I need to do that will truly make me feel like my life is in so much more order is figure out all of the details for Echo's birthday party. Her birthday party has been severely stressing me out because we are less than two weeks out from it and I have not ordered a single thing. Luckily, my friend Artemisa helped me with like a mood board and like sent me links to things, but I do wanna like go over and put my own like personal touch to it. And I just felt like I could not find the time or energy to do that before with like all of the wedding stuff going on. And now that that's over, I can finally just like focus on the next thing. I wanted to share with you guys kind of like the process of which like how I plan a party and like how I break it down, make it organized, uh, plan activities, plan the food, just like kind of get it exactly how I would like it to be. So I actually do this on a note in my phone. It's nothing like crazy, but I will just write everything out so I can kind of just like start picturing it in my head. So the first thing that I usually start with is decor just because I like to make it cute and fun. And so this is what I have on my mind. So my friend Artemisa has backdrops that she actually got from Amazon. I can link them down below for you guys, but they are just like wire backdrops and then you can buy like fabric covers to go over them. So you can use them multiple times. They're super easy to store and I am going to borrow those from her. So I believe they're like seven and a half feet and six feet. She has a white cover for the big one and I think I'm gonna get like a tan cover for the smaller one. And my idea for the backdrop is to have the tan one say woof. And I'm going to cut this out with vinyl on my Cricut. And then the white one, I'm gonna get these like little sticker decals that look like little Dalmatian spots and I'm gonna cover the white one in that. And then I am going to drape a balloon arch over the whole thing. Um, it's gonna be tan, pink, and blue. Those are the colors that I'm kind of going for for this party so we'll have that and then i'm thinking of putting that in like the center of my grass but kind of to the side and then having like a kid's table right in front of it just to kind of like tie it all together a little bit more and for that i'm gonna do a pink plate a little dog napkin a bone name tag which i think i will just write the names or i will write them in vinyl that might take a lot of time so i might just end up writing them myself um, and then i was thinking a pink table runner with my white tablecloth that I have for my wedding and then a party hat for their dogs which kind of leads me into the next like decor thing I have this wood shelf upstairs it used to be in Rocky's room it was just like a bookshelf and I'm gonna make it a adopt a dog station and there's these like little cardboard boxes from Amazon that I'm gonna cut a hole out and then put little stuffed animal dogs in them and every kid can go over and adopt a dog. That's all I have for decor. My only other thought was taking these flowers that I always put on my dining table, the vases, and putting flowers on that table too and then tying like little blue chiffon ribbon bows like on the vases. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it very simple. They're kids. I feel like that table just gets destroyed anyways and it's really just for me, just like, like it. But that is decor, and then I just planned out a bunch of activities. Um, I got these ideas from my friend Arnisa, like I said, but then also there's a bunch of like blogs on Pinterest that I found. So the first one is going to be the adopt a dog, um, and then the next is to make a dog collar in name tag. So I'm just gonna have like beads and pipe cleaner, and they can make like a little like bracelet that will go around to their neck. 
And then I found on Amazon these like little small circle tags that they can write their dog's name on it or their name on it and attach it and it can be like a little puppy collar. And then the last activity is I have that playhouse upstairs and I'm gonna turn that into like a dog house and we're gonna make it a like puppy visit. So I have a few doctor sets that I will put in there and they can take their new dog and do a little well visit with their puppy um, and just kind of play in there too. So those are like the activities that I have as far as like puppy related. I also am going to put my bounce house out and then I'm also going to put our climbing not the pickler triangle, but that bigger thing that we got for Christmas. Um, and I'm gonna put that outside as well. So the kids should have plenty of things to do. As far as food goes, I also found these ideas from Pinterest, but I saw a pasta salad um, and I'm just gonna do it like a chicken salad with like noodles. And then I saw a barcuterie board, <laughs> which I thought was cute. And that kind of food is super easy if I just go to Costco. Um, I'm gonna make puppy chow because it's so good and then it's like a play on words. And then I also saw a blog about giving out like dog food and getting like little plastic cups and putting Reese's puffs in there and that can be like their food. So I thought that was cute too. Um, another idea was popcorn. I will most likely get pizza from Costco as well just to make it simple because we will be having the party at 10 and it'll go to like 12.31 ish. And so people will be hungry for lunch. But that is my idea. Um, I am gonna get all of this ordered really quick and then I am going to feel so much better because like I said, this is just being hanging over my head and I'm starting to be afraid that things won't come in on time. All right, I got all of that ordered, but I just wanted to show you guys the little invite that I made because I made this completely from scratch on Canva. I found all of these dogs, all of the party hats, like the little bow, and I just like put them all together. It took me like over an hour. It was extremely excessive, but honestly it was very therapeutic and it was so fun. And it makes me really want to like list PDFs for party invites on Etsy. So if that's something you guys would want, please encourage me because I have all these ideas and I never act on them, but I thought it was cute. It's clearly so simple, but so fun. I also wanted to share with you guys this party decor I got for Echo's like day of birthday so I can decorate her room. I went with like this iridescent like vibe and I think it's so fun. Um, look at those colors. It's so pretty. The company is called Exo Fetty. I got these like iridescent streamer things. Why can't I think of the right word? But I'm going to hang that from like her door. I found these like little uh, flower balloons and then I'm gonna cover the floor with these like pastel balloons. On my kids' birthdays, I typically decorate the playroom because they're sleeping in their rooms and I don't wanna wake them up and I want them to like wake up to it being decorated like first thing. But I would love to decorate their rooms because I think it's like so much more cute and personable and I do think I could possibly sneak in there and like quietly hang some stuff up but if she wakes up, I'd be so sad. Like I just want her to like wake up and see it. Um, but if you guys have any tips, let me know because I truly love doing stuff like this. Like literally, it is so fun for me and it was truly stressing me out so much, but I feel so, so, so much better now that I've gotten the party decor supplies ordered. I've gotten like the decorations figured out for her actual birthday. And I really feel like I could just like end the vlog here and I would feel like I got my life together because really all the other stuff has been bothering me too. But this one, this one was like, really stressing me out. Don't worry, I am not ending it there. There's so much in my house that still needs tending to and the next being my kids' playroom. When I have not rotated my toys in a while, my kids don't really even come in here like at all and that doesn't really make for peaceful stay-at-home mom days. And so to save my own sanity, I go through the process of rotating toys as often as I can. It's honestly become one of my least favorite things to do because I feel like it is just like a lot to like clean up, clear out, and then think of like things to add back in. But I'm telling you, you guys, it is always worth it. My kids always play so much better when I do it and I'm always very thankful that I did it. I think one of the biggest reasons as to why I'm like not super into rotating toys anymore is because I feel like my kids don't really sit and play as much as they used to. Well, I lied. I feel like Echo still does, um, but Rocky doesn't really. He is so into playing with like action figures and dressing up as like superheroes. And he wants to fight and climb and jump and punch and like 
do all of that kind of stuff, which is great, but there's like not many toy items for that. And the thing is, is whatever Rocky's doing, Echo wants to do. So it does like kind of pull her away from being in here. But the days that Rocky's at preschool, I do really notice that she still does play with like the toys in the cubbies and she does sit and play a little bit more like Rocky used to. So that is what is motivating me to like fully do this. This may seem a little random, but I'm going to put this little basket of Sarah's silks up here because I want to encourage just like some more creative play and like imaginary play with like the cars and the trains and like all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking they can use it as like a water and they can like build a bridge over it or like put this on something tall and make it a tree. I don't know, I want to just encourage that kind of play a little bit more, so that is my thought with that. Would you believe me? If I said that I already did two loads of laundry yesterday and I haven't even gotten to our laundry yet. It's so much laundry. My cleaning schedule that I mentioned at the beginning of the video is so helpful, especially for laundry. I have like three out of the seven days where I do a load of laundry and when I get behind, it is a nightmare. When I don't have clean clothes for myself and for my kids, I feel like that really starts my day off on a very stressful note that can easily trickle on into the rest of the day so we need to tackle this and we need to tackle this now because I will not start tomorrow without clean clothes. I also want to use this as an opportunity to kind of like decompress a little bit. I'm going to watch one of Delilah's videos. She is also decluttering. Um, she's donating like half her toys, which I know I just did like my kids toys. And now I'm like, okay, crap, I need to go back and get rid of toys because as I was rotating them, there were so many that I'm like, my kids have not touched these in so long. So that'll have to be another video um, because I don't have enough energy to do that today as well. But besides the point, I am going to use it as a moment to just kind of relax a little bit so that way I can at least like feel like I've gotten a second to just like chill even though I am tackling like three loads of laundry right now. If you've noticed that I've actually done zero cleaning today, that was intentional. I saved it for the last part because I was hoping if I didn't get to anything, it would be the cleaning. Because honestly, I just cannot be bothered these days. I used to be so like obsessive about keeping my house clean and just making sure everything is like spotless, which is just not doable the more time goes on. I have kids that live here. I live here um, and I like to put my energy towards many other things besides making sure that my floors and counters and mirrors are spotless. But with that being said, there are many areas of my house that look like this and they need some tending to. And again, I'm gonna try and enjoy the process and pop in some headphones and listen to a podcast or like an audiobook. I have not been reading as much in the last like week or two because of like just how busy I've been and I'm really missing it. So maybe I will find an audiobook. Um, but if not, there's many podcasts that I can listen to that I'm behind on. And this is kind of like revolutionary for me. I feel like usually when I do things around the house, I don't listen to anything and it doesn't make it very enjoyable. And I see people listening to stuff all the time while they're cleaning and doing like tasks and I don't know why it hasn't clicked till now. I feel like I have a very like go, go, go mindset during nap time because I'm like, okay, you gotta hurry up and get as much done as possible. And I'm trying to teach myself to just like slow down and like enjoy what I'm doing, not rush through everything and know that there will always be more time to work on things. So I'm only sharing because I am three and a half years into this whole parenthood thing and I've never done this. So let's listen to an audiobook and let's clean some surfaces.
Okay, I have one last thing that I wanna do with you guys before my kids wake up, and I have exactly 11 minutes, so I'm going to like speed through this, but there are a few drawers in my kitchen that have become our junk drawers, which I'm sure you guys have them too, but like literally we have four now. We used to just have one, and every single one of them I open, I cannot shut when I go to shut them. So it's really driving me nuts. The worst one is Rocky's like preschool paper drawer. Um, he comes home with like at least six pieces of paper every single time he goes to school, which it is so cute and I love seeing them. Like it is just like the most like special thing and I love that I get to like see kind of what he did in school. But I cannot keep all of them because he's only been in school for like six months and this whole drawer is like overflowing. So my thought is to keep like maybe one thing per week or like one thing per like season. I don't know, just like a few so that way I can remember him being in preschool. But like all of the worksheets and stuff, like I feel like I just like cannot hold on to. I got two out of the four drawers done, but I can hear Echo. She's most definitely up and ready for me to get her. Another thing that I want to declutter is my makeup bag and then like my skincare and like the under the neath cabinet like situation. I am truly a purger at heart. I don't really hold on to things, so this area is not really like horrible. I just truly don't want anything else in my makeup bag besides what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I hate having to like look around for it um, and there's no need to have more than what I use on a day-to-day -day basis in there. I can put anything else that I would keep for like a special occasion or something like that in my medicine cabinet or underneath my sink. This is my everyday makeup that is going to go back into my bag. I need to like shake that out because of course there's like crap at the bottom. These are hair ties that need to be put away. This is trash that was in there. And then these are items that I need to just like kind of store somewhere else because I still really like them but I'm not using them on a day to day basis. Um, and then like a necklace and a clip that I need to find a better home for. Getting real personal with you guys, but this is my current under the neath cabinet situation. There's honestly no rhyme or reason at all. Things are just kind of shoved underneath here. So I need to go through it, get rid of the things that I don't need and find a better system for the things that I'm gonna keep. Can we all agree that the whole like things get worse before they get better when it comes to cleaning? is absolutely the worst part. Like I get here and I'm like, okay, I don't want to do it anymore. It's gotta be done and it needs organized. And honestly, I feel like it'll just take me like five minutes if I just like smash it out. This basket just like has all of my hot tools and then this is like kind of organized. This is like overflow of makeup and like hair products. These are like skincare masks, razors, like acetone, eyelashes, like pore strips, just like stuff like that. This is my travel bag that I use for makeup and then back there has like a bunch of travel size like shampoo and conditioner. And then on this side, I just have like overflow of hair ties and like claw clips and like cotton rounds. And then this has some jewelry in it and that is some nail polish. That is all that I'm left with underneath the sink and it feels so much better. My kids again were surprisingly playing so well during that. Where's Rocky and Echo? Where are you? Hey! Hey, I can't pull it! Hey! There you are! Good, how are you? We just drove to Goodwill and dropped off a few bags of donations because I have been decluttering in like every single vlog for the past like month or so and I hadn't made a trip yet. 
But that is where I'm going to end this vlog. There's so many more things that I can and need to do. Like, I was thinking on the way home, I should probably get a car wash because the car is filthy. Like, the list does not stop. And I did not clean every space in my house. I did not do all of my laundry. Like, I just have to preface all of that. But this really felt like a good start to truly getting my life together. I wanted to quickly remind you guys to check out Thrive Market. If you click the link in my description box or head to thrivemarket.com backslash Kylene Rodriguez, you will get 30% off your first order and you will receive a free gift worth up to $60 in value when you join Thrive Market today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was motivating. I've got one that is telling me, let's go. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.